But over in the horticulture trade, Asian bush honeysuckle has devastated our traditional landscapes, changing our forests, rivers, fields, and streams. Traditionally in our forests and woodlands, the view to the horizon was only partially obstructed. A person walking through such a place could see the ground below and could notice the details up ahead. As you can see in these images, there's not a lot of brush obstructing the view. During the time of Native Americans, fire shaped the forest, prairies, and woodlands of Missouri. Here you can see several images of forests which have been shaped by fire. Fire removes a lot of the brush, leaving grass and forbs for animals and nut producing trees. The next image is of a forest where fire has been suppressed and sugar maple dominates the canopy. Honeysuckle changes everything, blocking the view for anybody walking through the forest. It's hard to see the floor below, it's hard to see to the horizon, it's just a monotonous wall of shrubs and bushes everywhere you look. The honeysuckle seems to spread everywhere it can, except for areas with very thick shade, nothing seems to stop it. Before the honeysuckle invasion, cedar groves such as these would have been considered thick, heavy terrain. A severe honeysuckle infestation, however, puts that to shame. Here you can see severe honeysuckle damage in a park in St. Louis County. As you can see, the honeysuckle forms an impenetrable barrier. These honeysuckle bushes are 15 to 20 feet high, and the infestation pretty much covers the entire area that has not been mowed or paved. Many people don't seem to know the difference between an area altered by severe honeysuckle infestation and a traditional Missouri environment. Here you see a forest in Missouri that has not been infested with honeysuckle. Notice how there is a view to the horizon and there's plenty of space in between the trees for somebody to walk, mushroom hunt, deer hunt, or just enjoy the outdoors. Eventually, however, the honeysuckle was spread to such areas. At first there's only scattered bushes, but eventually birds eat the berries and spread the bushes throughout the forest. After 20 or 30 years, the forest is completely covered with honeysuckle up to 15 or 20 feet high. Here you can see the result. This is what a similar area should look like. Notice the trail with the unobstructed view. Unfortunately, if nothing is done, this is what most of the state will look like. These images were taken in St. Louis County in a park. As you can see, it is very difficult to walk around. Imagine if this was your land. What would you do? How could you enjoy your land where much of it is difficult to walk through or even see? Not only has the honeysuckle changed the appearance of the land, but also the ecology. The honeysuckle is covering up almost all areas of the ground, competing with our native plants. Most of our plant diversity traditionally has been at the ground level, so our ecology has changed drastically in these places. Honeysuckle also drastically changes the appearance and accessibility of areas near water. This is a creek bed in St. Louis County. Traditionally, access to rivers and streams has not been obstructed in this way. Imagine the difficulty in enjoying recreational activities along our shores when honeysuckle blocks access to such places. Unless we can preserve some areas from honeysuckle infestation, people won't know what a traditional Missouri landscape should look like. They'll just assume walking in a forest or woodland means walking in a green tunnel of honeysuckle over their heads going in all directions. Views such as this will become more and more rare as honeysuckle takes over the rest of our state. Preserving areas from honeysuckle is easier when the infestation is just starting, when the plants are small and scattered. Once the bushes get old enough to start producing berries, it's very difficult to hold back the invasion. These bushes are loaded with berries, each berry producing a honeysuckle bush. Landowners and managers might consider measures they can do right now to prevent their 
property from looking like this. As you can see, there's really not much you can do in land like this once you get off the trail. Other invasive species also cause problems. Here's Japanese honeysuckle along with Asian bush honeysuckle. As you get away from our cities and suburbs, it's still possible to find areas that have not been infested by invasive species. Here you can see some fields and woodlands that have not been infested. Without intervention in 20 or 30 years, this entire view can be drastically changed by an infestation of Asian bush honeysuckle. Images like the ones we've seen so far will replace what you're looking at now. This is the future for areas such as this that have not yet been invaded. Now that you know what Asian bush honeysuckle is doing to our traditional environments, find out more about what you can do to stop it. Um.